For years, U.S. law allowed those fleeing persecution to seek asylum in the United States, regardless of how they entered the country. No longer. I just signed the proclamation on asylum. Uh, again, I reiterate, we need Democrats' votes. Using executive powers, President Donald Trump has reduced the number of asylum claims. Now mandating a claim can only be considered if a person entered the United States through a legal checkpoint. The presidential proclamation is Trump's latest response to a caravan of migrants headed to the United States. Thousands of U.S. soldiers have been deployed to the border to discourage a flood of illegal entries. Trump's also cast doubt on claims migrants are fleeing persecution in their home countries, a condition of asylum. And the reason this is happening is we've created such a successful country economically that everybody is flooding into our country. No fear. Refugees are welcome. The White House is defending what immigration activists say is Trump's latest draconian immigration policy. But like the travel ban implemented early in Trump's presidency, the White House argues the changes are necessary for U.S. national security. The travel ban was tossed out in lower federal court challenges, but ultimately prevailed at the Supreme Court, the highest court in the United States. The White House argues after decades of congressional failures to reform immigration, the expansion of executive power is justified. So he can't accomplish what he wants to accomplish simply by his unilateral decree. He needs to go to Congress and say, I believe that there's a national security issue or whatever. He cannot unilaterally change the landscape of asylum. He is not a king. The White House is already preparing for more legal challenges, but believes it will ultimately win with the support of the president's newest Supreme Court Justice, Brett Kavanaugh, now on the bench. The president's effort to end an Obama-era program for the children of illegal immigrants, now adults, to go to school and work is also mired in the courts. But the president says as it heads now to the Supreme Court, he is hopeful for what he calls a fair decision on his hardline immigration policy. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, the White House.